It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Contraband Police. We are back here at our posts on the border. And uh, it's going to be time to bring in the first vehicle of the day. Back on the grind, baby, but somebody's got to do it. It's, uh, man, I just, I, every time we start a new episode, never know what to expect. Always excited. I really want to make some money today. How are you doing? Good to see you. Let me check your weight really quick. Need to get in with this stuff fast. I was supposed to be here three days ago. I heard about these new restrictions. Please let me in or I'll be fired. Yeah, you're getting fired, bro. I'm not falling for that. I'm going to check what you've got going on. It, what, what could possibly be so important? You've got some cement. Make sure you've got a second toilet back there. I'm just, I'm going to take everything out. The fact that you're trying to rush me throws a uh, a bit of a red flag up for me check inside the toilets he might be being legit we've always i feel like all the people who have told us stories have been legit so far they're just hoping you're going to do something nice for them that's not the case here as long as like you know if your family's in trouble you're trying to save the kids or whatever yeah i'll let you through but if you're just trying to get there because you were late and not paying attention you're not making it unless you have every reason to Tadeus sar to lay us sorry yeah he's not getting he's got an invalid entry permit come on bro let me check his uh cargo report here flammable substances he's messed up oh three cements yeah he's he's got two toilets he didn't report that second toilet so i'm gonna say his cargo list is off let me take a look at his face his face is off too yeah you're gonna be stuck here for a minute bro you're in a hurry absolutely not you know what since you're in such a hurry let me go ahead and have you step out of the vehicle please Give me a bit of a flight risk here. Don't want you to run off. I want to, like I said, my, my main goal here is to make a lot of money today. So I want to make sure that we're hitting everything. I don't see anything wrong with the vehicle. Do we have all of our, all of our windows are good. Mirrors are good. Okay. 7447LZ. VQK 7447LZ. I think he's, he's good except for these type. Registration weight was good. Reg oh, regulations. Let's check his regulations. What was his, his cargo? He's got three household appliances. This is just a material. He's actually, he's good on those regulations, but unfortunately he's not going to be making it in on the grounds of quite a few other things. So I'm sorry, sir. Sorry about your job. I know it's unfortunate. You can send me an angry letter in the mail if you want, but uh, it's it's just a job, man. You can get another one. Maybe you wouldn't have to switch jobs if you actually did yours correctly. Let's go ahead and bring the next guy in. QQX2979UE. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Let me take these documents here. See how we did on this one. Justified refusal, we missed something. Entry regs? What was wrong with the entry regs? He didn't have six food, three household appliance, appliances, or four chemicals. That doesn't make any sense. The entry regs should have been good. Well, his cargo list was bad, but we marked that. I, I don't know. I don't know why there. I, that doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, QQX2979UE. That looks good. Let's check his weight. 5,300. Wow. Okay, these Illich 57 can really carry a lot of weight. Let's hop in here, see what we got. A lot of cement, huh? I feel like I've seen a few of you guys coming through here lately with a lot of cement. Little sketchy, not gonna lie. He's got both mirrors, he's got both headlights, he doesn't have any broken windows. I, does this count as a bumper? I think that counts as a bumper, I'm not sure. No missing body panels or anything. Let's take a quick look and... S oh, hello sir, alright, well it's a lucky thing I opened that. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me please. We got our, our first fish in the tank, baby. All that for some SIGs, bro. Was it really worth it? I don't think so. All right. Love to see that. The arrests. Got a new, uh, you know, worker for the labor camp. That's kind of what we're paid for the most. Do you have anything in here? I don't think he has maybe in that box. I don't think he was a smuggler. I think he just likes his SIGs. Unfortunately, I'm saving you from your... Oh, oh, just kidding. Got to take our sniper back off. Gosh, that thing was absolutely trash. Not, not happy about that. Oh, we need an axe. A lot of our tools are about to uh, about to crack. Yeah, this we're gonna have to re up on everything. We gotta make money, man. We've got twenty two hundred dollars. We we need a lot more than that. We have some some backups in here, but it's it's still scary. Goodness gracious, you have to hit it so many times. We've got three more in here. Let me double check really closely on all the wheels and everything else we should check the spares anytime there's a spare tire i feel like that's a good spot for it definitely check inside the uh the engine compartment here look for any snakes check this side i don't see anything we're lucky we saw this because he he could have a lot hidden in all these cement packs really gonna put you to work here today sorry about this maximoff gonna check over each one of these 
Nothing in any of his equipment, really. Oh, just kidding. One thing. Sorry, we had to take all that out just for that, Maximov. All right, so we got five cigarette things. That's probably pretty good. We missed one. We're just missing one today. It doesn't tell us where the... Okay, well, it might be glitched. We might have gotten it all. Who knows? Bring in the next one. What do we have here? YJV. We're looking for WOI. This guy looks like he... Is he got a flat tire? He's kind of stanced out a little bit. He just must have a lot of stuff in the back. I'm going to unpack all this. Thanks for the documents, sir. All right, let's take a look at what we've got. We've got four oil barrels and three pickles. I'm just going to do a once over since we already have them out. We can throw them back in so we can wait it. Max Miles really putting his back into it today. Make sure you lift it with your legs, not your back, man. Don't want anything bad happening to you. Let's take a look at the weight here. We've got uh, 2390. He's good on the Azar V. Samir Ami uh, Amibi? Nope, that's wrong. 18th of March. You are past your expiration, my man. Let's check his cargo list. Four and three. He's good on that. YJV9662SX. 9662SX. That looks good. All right, let's check. The status of the vehicle here, he's clearly not getting in. We're missing a mirror. Hmm, everything else appears to be an oh, window back here in the back. All in all, fairly good shape. He's got a few things wrong. I'm just going to check the wheels. I feel like the wheels and bumpers are the, the most common spots for them to hide stuff. As well as right, right back here. And sometimes in the glove box. Okay. I don't think he has anything bad, but he's definitely not getting in. Any other broken windows up here? Sometimes it can be kind of hard to see. Oh, that's a broken windshield. And he shaved his beard. All right. Photo's not going to work out. Passport number, I think, is good. YVC, 2J, yep. All right. You're free to uh, to turn around here, sir. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get my first perfect of the day. I hope this one was good. Let's go. Bring in the next one. Come on, baby. Rapid fire. Let's keep it going. Come on. First perfect of the day. First perfect of the day. Please, 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 please. We got it. Let's go. Zegger 53, he is at um, 3690, so he's good on that. Let's check the back here. We got a lot of hay bales. I'm just going to unpack all these, make sure we don't miss anything. Sometimes when it does the big ones, I feel like it, it does that to try to get you to overlook something tucked in the back. Nine hay bales, that checks out. That's just a material, so he's all good to go there. Again, I'm so sorry, Maximov. Dude's just trying to have a smoke break, and I'm like, all right, come on, bro. We got another massive load. You've got to re- Put back up. Truck looks pretty good. Truck looks good. No broken windows. He's clean. JLL 6641AU. That looks good. Kadir Kakarmas. Kakarmas. Passport number checks out. He's good through 1982. My man is way ahead of the game. 18th of June. He's good there. I think this is all good. I think you're clear, bro. All right. Congrats on being the uh, the first no issue of the day. Straight clean as a whistle. Love to see it. All right. Final one of this, this first day here. Let's go do it. Got a flat tire here. Perfect inspection. Love to see that. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Let me see those documents, please. Thank you. He's in the Illich 57. He's up to 6230. He's good on that. We definitely have a, uh, a flat tire. Missing mirror. Is this a broken? Nope. Windows good there. Missing mirror. Let's hop inside here. He's got cages for animals, but no animals. Interesting. Does he have anything on his cargo list? He's got nothing on his cargo list. POT3454PM checks out. Wadi Farat. He's looking pretty good. 20th of July, 25th of September, 862M52LU. I can't think of anything else to get him on. I, 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 think, I think he's good. Type was good, weight was good, cargo list, passport number, expiration dates, everything. All right, we just had back-to-back, -back just well-mannered, well-oiled machines coming through. You have a good one, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm trying to make an extra $200 on that one. Hopefully that was good. We'll see. The idea of two back-to-back -back perfect... Ah, we missed something. He had a broken window and a broken light. I didn't even see those. Okay, we can rest. Let's go rest. Good to see y'all. Thanks for another good day. Dude, we've got $510 in daily costs. That's a little dangerous. We made $880. And I guess we, we do, we have a little bit of contraband and we have the one prisoner that we got. So we, in total, we probably made a little over a thousand. 
but we're spending half of that on our daily our daily expenditures. If we get a couple of wrong ones, we're going to be in a bad spot. Uh-oh. We've received information about the planned meeting of the smugglers gang at Sawmill. We could catch them if we hurry. Will you join us? Get there before time runs out. Help your squad eliminate the threat for $1,600. Are you kidding me? We're talking about making money, man. I maybe take me off the border post. I'll uh I'll just I'll I'll, I'll be a mercenary for hire from now on. I'm putting the siren on. They know we're coming. We know they're there. There's no element of surprise. Where are we going? The sawmill? I think we want to take a right. I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make, but I'm going to I'm going to turn the siren off. I'm going to turn the radio on. Oh, hello. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? There's a Is it is it gone? I think it's gone. Okay. We got to go. We got to go. Dude, it's so dark out here. It's really hard to see. Ran right into that tree. Here are our comrades. We're good to go. Don't run them over, please, Trev. Feels like an AK sort of day, maybe. I'm gonna get up on some uh, some cover here. Just tap fire these fools. We got more over on the right. He's down. I got your help. Dude, AK is... So much better, and the ammo costs so much less. Grenade coming in. Watch out, bro. That guy's a goner, dude. <laughs> they were throwing, they always throw it at me. I probably shouldn't stand next to teammates, huh? Make sure nobody's getting up close. Dead. 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 Another grenade. I'm gonna move. It's really hard to see at night, dude. Flashlight helps a little bit. I feel like it gives away our positioning, though. Just popping domes and popping cherries out here, baby. The, the best border guard this place has ever seen. Grenade. Definitely don't want to stand next to our car, too. We're almost through all of our ammo here. I mean, 1,600 is, is going to more than... Oh, shoot. More than pay for everything else that we need. Got nine enemies left here. I kind of want to get the MP40, too. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff we want to buy. Grenade coming. Gotta keep your head in the swivel, baby. He's down. Is this the last one? Three left. Dead. One left. <laughs> we got him, baby. There it is. All enemies have been defeated. We made $1,600. That is what I'm talking about. Is Vlad open at night? It feels kind of like a bad idea, but if we're already halfway out here, we're more than halfway to his, his tool shed. We may as well, right? And is it me or is it extra dark this time? I'm probably going to have to boost the uh, exposure a little bit in the editing because I can't see Jack. We got a lot of money now, though. How you doing, Vlad? I don't think it's time. Is it time to buy the MP40 yet? I don't think so. I don't I don't even know if we'd really use it. I just kind of want it because I want it. Grenades, I feel like, are kind of a waste. Definitely going to buy, like, way too much rifle ammo. We've got cigarettes here. We've got pistol ammo. We need some more sniper ammo. We could get rid of the sub ammo. Did I just break his light in here? I'm going to get rid of the submachine gun ammo. We're going to buy sniper ammo and probably more rifle ammo. I don't think there's anything more useful in this game than rifle ammo. We just blew all the money that we made on ammo. It's a good thing we got into a giant fight so we could buy more ammo. But the truth is, is now we're not going to have to buy ammo again for a hopefully very long time. I really can't tell if it's me. I'm playing early in the morning. Not early. It's like 8.39, something like that. But it's, it's like... My office is a little bit brighter than it typically is. The sun's in a different spot. Oh, shoot, Trev. Let's not get stuck out here. I just, I can, I can hardly see the road. I think it's because of the, yeah, it's because of the glare. Either that or we're just out here really late at night. All right, let's keep her on the road, Trev. Oh, oh almost blew right through the border sign. All right. Well, we are back. A successful evening. I mean, could have been better, could have been worse, but I'm happy with it. Nice little injection of cash there. Unfortunately, we didn't really save much of it. But hey, like I said, we're going to have a ton of, of ammo left. I'm actually going to put our sh I'm going to put our shotgun in storage. I don't think we need that at all. I'm going to swap our maybe have AK pistol and then sniper. Half of our inventory is going to be taken up by by rifle ammo, but that's OK. And then I'm I'm just going to throw I'm going to throw our our pistol off. We don't need that second pistol. Now, I do remember in the very first episode, I kind of want to try this maybe tomorrow. In the very first episode, they said something about how like you would need a shovel 
because there's some some buried treasure around a car stand and stuff maybe we can try to make some money that way i mean we're doing okay on money we're gonna be fine it's just if, if we have anything unexpected pop up where we need to make a big expense or we get a couple of inspections wrong then we might be in a little bit of trouble little refresher here we're looking for woi or a driver age of 41. a couple of uh just kind of quick tip-offs we could possibly be <laughs> dude my timing in this series has been impeccable. This this is just great. How you doing, sir? Thank you. All right, go ahead and, and step. If, if I can grab your documents, step out for me, please. Not even going to mess around with the, uh, the main logistics. Yep. Well, I at least appreciate it because we're going to make some money on you. Chain them up. Get in the back. That's two prisoners. Love that. I want to try to fill that back up to five. We get a few grand. We've got a piece of mail here too. I must have missed this. Is this going to be the angry guy that got fired? You rotten bureaucrat. You and your effing rules got me fired. What am I going to tell my family now? What will we live on for the next month? I only hope that someday someone will treat you this selfishly. Well, I don't think it's selfish when you're just straight up not listening to the rules and trying to bypass the rules. It's not how it works, chief. Ooh, he's got alcohol, huh? Okay. He's got a missing bumper back here. Could be a sign of something. No. Really likes his wheels. He's had three out of four wheels with alcohol so far. Four out of four wheels. Could hear this thing sloshing around as it rolled up on us. In the seat. Check the headliner. Check underneath the, the visors. Yep, there it is. Nothing over on that side. Let me check in here. Oh. Another one? Nothing on this side? Dude, we're getting some good stuff here. These are the hardest ones to find when they're down in the, the trenches of the engine. But we got one. We just got to drop this stuff off first. All right. We're going to have a, a nice police drop off here. Getting lots of uh, contraband in there. And then we're going to be able to drop off the prisoners as well. Grab this one. Anything else in there? Yeah, see how dark it is in there? Really, really hard to see. He didn't have any contraband or anything. I would imagine we found everything here. Maybe check... The bumper, but I think we're good. 100% thwarted smuggling. Got all of it. Gotta love that, baby. I think alcohol actually fetches a decent price, too. Weapons are the most. Alcohol might be the second. We got a, a small car. We haven't had a small car in a very long time, ever since this new entry reg about the uh, the certain type of, of items and things. So this is an Illich 50, uh, Zagger 53, sorry. 40-30. He's good on that. He's got a couple of pigs in the back. Make sure that matches up. Oh, he says he's got three pigs. He's only got two. Okay, that's a weird thing to lie about. Since you lied, I'm going to do a slightly harder check on the outside. Quick little check inside. Nothing. Just might be a farmer with bad paperwork. ATY557UK, 70UK, Bari Zorgit. 21st of April is not going to check out there. 24th of October does. So he's got the expiration date wrong, cargo list wrong. Let me check the uh, status of the vehicle. Looks like all of his lights and windows and everything. Check out mirrors. Face looks good. Okay, I think uh, I think he's good apart from his, his cargo list, unfortunately. Sir, you're saying you're bringing more in than you actually are. There's just no point in that. that that's just a mistake. Listen, we all make them, though. Everybody has those days. Have a good one, bro. Turn it on around. Bring in the next one. Finally getting some smaller cars again. I actually really like the smaller cars. We've got both mirrors. We've got both lights. We've got both lights. We've got bumpers. We've got no flat tires. We missed something on that last one. What did we miss? Ex uh, name and surname. He had kind of a weird name. It was somewhat hard to see. Is that a flat tire? Oh. <laughs> well, I just lucked into that one. <laughs> I'll take it. Of course I'm getting out. Well, you know what else you're doing? You're getting into cuffs, baby. Put them in the back. That's three. And then there were, were three little piggies going to the market. All right. That's kind of a little bit dark. So we had this issue before with one of these smaller cars. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do to, to be able to get in here. I can hit it all day with that. I can hit it with our axe. I don't I don't know what to do. I'm just going to take everything that he has out. This this makes me upset because we're not going to be able to get 100% here because I don't know what to do about the, the wheels. I have no idea. Check the seats. Check the seats. Oop. That's a big S. Check the back seats. Sometimes I can get pretty crafty with where they hide them. I don't see anything in the, the back. Check the engine compartment. We're going to have a double alcohol engine thing today. I guess not. Let's check our, uh, our cases here. What the heck? He didn't have a snake on this one, but it's got stuff in it. Should we check everyone's stuff after, after they 100% 
we, we know that they have it? I didn't know that. Nothing on the bumpers. Nothing up front. Okay. There's just that one wheel. This wheel here. I don't... It, it, it might be in our, our instruction booklet. See, the big... You, you can use knife or axe, and it cuts it open. I don't... I don't know what wheel is, though. It doesn't have anything anywhere about being inside the wheel. Unless we don't actually... I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try it. Maybe, maybe the wheel shows that it's somewhere in the car, but it's not necessarily in that wheel. Let's see how we do here. Thwarted smuggling. See? Front right tire. I, I don't know how to get to that. I really don't. We, we use every... The more you hit something with one of your items, you're just wearing down the item. So I don't want to waste that. That was our last smuggler there. I don't want to waste it, but I just don't know how to get into it. It's just not possible. Check the weight on this thing. This is the, the Illich 57, 6230. He's good to go there. Oop, has a lot of items in here. Let's make sure we take a look at absolutely everything. Anything hidden back in the corner? We got four detergents back there. All right, I'm just going to unpack all this. Whenever it hides something behind a big, a big appliance, it sketches me out. Not seeing anything on any of these though he's clean truck looks to be in good condition no broken windows has both mirrors has bumpers pzy 6155 lx that checks out no missing compartments trucks in good shape face looks good cargo list six detergents he's already not getting in on chemicals i guess we could check the rest uh four hay bales two refrigerators one petrol barrel so he's not getting in on entry regs let's take a look at all of his other stuff marvin Urkva. Passport number's good. He's valid on his entry. Valid there. I think everything's good. Registration was good. Everything's good here apart from just that he has the wrong the wrong items, the entry regulations. Hit him with the, the deny. Sorry, man. Too many things coming through. We gotta we gotta be careful about what we're importing and exporting. We got a flat tire on the one back here. Let's watch out. Already kind of a sketchy thing. My man is, is riding sideways. Let me take these documents, please. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Justify refusal, 100%. 4105. He's at 4190. JNY0601UY. NY0601UY. Lots of hay bales here, huh? And a whole ass chicken. I have never seen a chicken being transported before. I feel like he was kind of hiding. You got anything in this chicken? Nothing in the chicken. Just want to make sure. Why is this game this detailed? It's the same thing with the pigs. Okay. Of course, we know he had a flat tire. Missing a mirror. Is that broken or is that's just down? Flat tire. Missing front bumper. Does this count as a broken light? I would imagine that counts as a broken light, right? Flat tire. Broken light. Missing mirror. Second mirror is good. This thing is in somewhat rough shape. I'm just going to... Do a little extra once over on it. Nothing in his little side compartment. Take a look at his cargo list here. 13 hay bales, two apple crates, and a chicken. He's good on that. Hay bale is just a material. Apple crate is food, chickens, and animal. Learn something new every day. Wadi Ariad. That's not working. This is not working. 27th of May. He's good on that. Okay. Face is looking okay. Got him on a couple of things here, but uh, unfortunately, thou shalt not pass. I don't think I'm making a mistake. I think you were trying to bring this nonsense into this country. Go ahead and turn that thing around. See you later. Oof. We missed a lot there, huh? He had a broken window. He had a... Oh, I thought I put the bumper. Did I not put the bumper? My bad. He also had the wrong vehicle type. Well, that wasn't our best check, but hey, we're still having a a pretty good day. We'll take it. Let's rest up. Come back tomorrow a little bit fresher. And let's see if ooh, day 23 is down. Uh-oh. We got a sniper up top here. I'm, I'm trying to... This is where I think the sniper's going to shine. I really don't want to waste ammo. I'm just clicking darkness with orange arrows over it. I'm trying to aim high so we can get a one-shot headshot. We've got three minutes of an attack here. This is going to be ridiculous. Oh! Be careful! Repnin's been hurt. Shoot. Again, don't stand next to people. I don't know where to go because there's so many guys. I'll just stand right on this box. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay away. Stay away from our guys as much as possible. If you truly use this thing like a sniper, like you're chilling, you're not panicked, and you just pop domes, that's where this thing wins, I think. Oh shoot. Max Mom is heavily, heavily wounded as well. We might actually get into some trouble here, if I'm being honest. 
We got a minute and 33 left, and these guys are, are still flooding in like crazy. Enemy's car is approaching. That's fine. We're going to be okay. Let me reload this real quick. We're going to get the AK out. This is where we probably should have a... Uh, you got to wait till they get out. Otherwise, they're invincible. Should probably have a grenade. They really gained some, uh, some ground when they bring the car in. That's a good move on their part. But we've got to push back now. Watch out for the grenades. We're good. Get back to the sniper and let's... Just survive another 30 seconds of an attack here. They are just flooding out of the woods, dude. All right, we got six enemies left. This one. He's down. Whoever our sniper is up top, I forget his name. He's a dog, bro. He straight destroys these fools. I'm going pistol. Let's finish him off. Oh, they're already dead. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to have to spend some money for the hospital. Got both of our employees back. We got $1,700 for that. I'm tempted. Hmm. Let me see. I'm tempted to upgrade everybody one more time. It costs 500 bucks for an upgrade, though. That's going to give Maximov a rifle. That's pretty good. I kind of, I, I want Maximov to be maxed out. He's, he's pretty good. We also have, we can upgrade for 2K to be able to get lodging three. That's going to improve our, uh, our health. It's going to give us a full on house and everything. We also know that we definitely want to upgrade the jail at some point. I'm going to hold off for now. I don't want to get too low on money, but hey, our boy Maximov is now a, uh, a full level four soldier rifle, has everything he could possibly need, max body armor and stuff. He's going to be ready to uh, take on whatever's thrown his way. We move on to our next day here. We're looking pretty good. Things are going well. Chapter seven, war. Unfortunately, my worst fears have come true. We have a war. As a result of this situation, we must be ready for an influx of large numbers of immigrants from all Barak. They've always caused issues for us. See the board for details. Forged documents. Some drivers may have forged documents. You will recognize them by unusual stationery or an unauthorized office seal. To ensure that your stationery and stamp are legal, compare them to those listed in your service manual in the country's section. Select a document name to compare its stationery. It's like the official seal to compare it with the original. So this is gonna get interesting. We also have the cargo list. We have the vehicle registration document. We have damage control. We've got forge documents. Government is granting asylum to select citizens of Albarak. They can only cross the border if they have a valid entry permit. And the reason for entry is asylum. So we gotta look out for that. We've got a bunch of new smugglers. Holy cow, dude. 24 has a forged passport. 25 has 83 CU in the registration. 26 is 45 years old, 27 is from Urkai, and 28 has two broken windows. So we're looking for 83CU and a forged passport. Let me take a look at our newspaper here. The Albarak government has officially confirmed the attack by the Kagastam aggressor. At dawn today, the troops from the east crossed the border and occupied the surrounding town of Albabi. Residents of the border area, fearing the approaching enemy forces, are leaving their homes and fleeing to the north. Wanting to ensure all, uh, the safety of all citizens, the party decides to tighten immigration controls. Citizens of Akaristan can rest easy. Our brave troops secure the southern borders of the country. At the same time, the government decided to increase national defense spending. Isn't that how that always works? Huh? Wartime economics. Gotta love it. So we don't have to worry about the, uh, the goods anymore, which is good. We're going to have smaller vehicles again, which is nice. Still going to... It's, it's the most we've ever had to pay attention to. Let's see if we can... I mean, I'm, I might just want to keep this thing out, baby. It's, it's wartime now. Let's see if we can have a, a perfect inspection on the first one. Just going to take a quick look around here. Looks like he's good. GJD6457LD. Let me see what we've got. You've got a couple of uh, of luggages. Of course, if you're fleeing, luggage would make sense. This is going to be that micro 2D, whatever the heck. 640. He's got three luggages. That's good. 990. Faradamiz, Faradamiz, Faradamiz. Let me take a look at his thing here. Is he... He's from All Barak, right? Is that All Barak? Let me... That might be, yeah, he's from Al Barak, but he doesn't, it said that he needs a valid entry permit and the reason for entry is asylum. He's not, he's not coming in for asylum. He's here for a visit. So he's, he's getting hit on the entry regs. Sorry, bro. 11th of May, 1981. He's about to expire. 17th of June, 1981. He's good there. I mean, he had everything, everything checked out. Oh, we, I forgot we need to check his stamp and stuff. Is this... This looks like kind of a sketchy passport. Let me see. I'm going to go back to all Barack. No, I think it's it's good. That's a match. And the stamp is a match for sure. Let me check his registration number. GJD6457LD. That looks good. 
Uh, he's he's good except for he's not coming here for asylum. If he's not coming here for asylum during wartime, what is he coming here for is the question. Could he be coming for something a little less, you know, a little more facetious? Is that the word I'm looking for? I'm not sure. All right, I think we did this one right. It's, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new... I know, it's wartime. You got to turn around and go home. Said you're here for a visit. You're supposed to be here for asylum, bro. I hope I got this one right. Got a second one coming in here. He's got nothing. Let's see. Thanks for your documents, sir. Justified refusal with a perfect inspection. Love to see it. All right. Let me take a look at uh, at this. He's from Urkai, so we don't have to look as closely with that. He's missing a bumper, two broken headlights. Missing body panel. Holy cow. Defected body work. Uh, he's got both mirrors. Another missing body. Oh. Look at that right there. All right. You said you had something to uh, to trade, right? You're interested in coffee, vodka, potatoes, and things. Let me see what I got. I know we have a couple other items. Good morning, Novik. Good to see you, sir. We got another one here. Uh, we've got coffee. He said he could have three. I'm just going to grab everything we have. <laughs> this is this, this is so incredibly dirty here, dude. Uh, all right. Let me. Uh, I'm going to give you toilet paper. I'll sell you coffee. You want this? No, you aren't going to buy any more of that. All right, then. Please step out of the vehicle. You are under arrest, sir. Thank you for giving me every last dime in your pocket. Now you can go think about it back in the brink. The brig? The brig, the brig is on a ship. I don't know why I call it the blink. The clink? I, I don't know. Things are going well, man. Things are going very, very well. Oh, well, counterfeit money. Right as I say they're going well, we lose our knife. That's fine. We've got some backups. We thought ahead. We are on to our second to last knife, though, so we got to think about that. Next delivery we get. Some more money up here. Go ahead and grab that. Nothing in the bumper. I love that. For whatever reason, I just find it really satisfying when we find stuff in tires. I like cutting open the rubber on the tire. I feel like, I don't know, one of my favorite hiding spots. Nothing in there. Looks like we got something on the back seat. Nothing up in the headboard. Definitely the back seat, though. This is probably where the majority of it's going to be. We got three counterfeit monies. Nothing in the, the you know, actual seat back itself. Nothing here. Let's check the, the hood here. You guys see anything? No. Nothing back there again. All right. I think we're all good to go. Look at my man. The come up is real. We got all sorts of... Heaters out here, bro. We got shooters. Ah, we missed something. What we miss? Headliner, I checked that, and under the rear seat. I meant to check the seats a little bit closer. It's fine. We're making money. We got double broken headlights on this, dude. What was the thing we were looking for? 8-3 CU. Missing bumper. It's not him. We got a couple of toilets here. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Two missing headlights, missing bumper. Hmm, missing bumper in the back. My goodness, you just don't take care of your stuff, huh? Says he's got two toilets, says he's got three toilets. Well, he's already not getting in based on the cargo list. He's at a Ver Verula 4x4, 1580 on the max weight. Let's check this. He made that. I'm gonna go ahead and unpack these and check them since they're so easy. He's all good there. And he's definitely not getting in. Everything else looks to be... Okay, Samir Ghazali. He's seeking asylum from Al Barak. Passport looks good. The, the, we're going to have to memorize the passports now. That's going to get a little bit tougher. So Al Barak is the purple and white. But it, it looks like they could potentially have like slightly off stationary too. 16th of November, 13th of August. He's all good there. But obviously he's not making it in due to that cargo list. Number plate checks out. All right. Sorry, man. I know you got to go back to a war zone. It sucks. Don't don't say you've got three toilets when you've only got two. Ooh, another broken down car there. I like that we're getting a lot more variety now. I'm not going to lie. The, the last segment, the last chapter where it was just all cargo trucks got a little bit old. Ooh, we're getting a little missing his photo. We missed that. Come on, Trev. You got to check that. Looks like we're good here. I see missing mirrors. I see flat tires. There's a lot happening. 1580 on the Azam 72. He's good. So we've got one, two flat tires, missing mirror, broken headlight. Two flat tires, mirror light. Check his windows. This thing is a hoopty, huh? Missing mirror on this side. Got that. Bumper's good. Lights are good back here. Says he's got a goat. Imagine they hid stuff in goats, dude. That'd be pretty messed up. MSF 724 5LI. Goat is good. Adelette Yilmaz. 
1891, he's coming across for Asylum. 1891, he's good there. 18th of May, he's solid. I can't see registration number, stamp. Yeah, the stamp and, and paperwork looks good. Is he supposed to have the stars on there? I think you are. If you don't use the compare, there's an achievement for getting it right without using the compare. So I think... I think we're good. I think he's he's solid. I'm gonna try it. Let's let's go ahead and let him through. Had a couple of uh, defects with his vehicle. Welcome to the country. May you find some peace and prosperity here in a car stand. We are much better than those down south, huh? Perfect inspection. Love it. All right, last one of the day. Thank you, sir. All right, go ahead and take those. We are in. No, oh, the war is right on our border. It's only a matter of time before they come and get us. He's in the Zagger 53. Is that is that right? Some of these, sometimes I forget. That's the one with the double-decker. 1330, he's good there. UWJ 4548FB. That looks good. No broken wind. Oh, nope, no broken wind. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you made it easy. I was going to say, to be honest, with the whole, like, they're on our border, we're in this together, the camaraderie, you did kind of a dead giveaway, bro. Kind of a dead giveaway. You made it way too easy. Is he from a car stand? Like, why are you bringing bad stuff into our country? Prison's full. We're going to be fine. Let's check on everything here. Going to check outside the vehicle, then going to check inside of it. This was the tire we found it. What's he have? He's bringing alcohol in. All right. I mean, it, it could be worse, right? We have a lot of contraband that we're going to be able to offload. Pretty exciting there. Going to be able to make some good money. So we've got this. Another one in the tire. Two more. I always want him to have it in the spare. Is that just like a really obvious spot and nobody actually uses it or what? It's like we got something in the seat. Both seats, actually. Nothing in there. We checked the headliner before and it, it said we we didn't find it on a previous one. Nothing behind there, nothing down there. Sometimes it could be in like the footwell. Nothing there, nothing there, okay. Check the engine compartment. Could be stashed anywhere in here. Just gonna do one more peek, see at everything. Make sure we didn't miss anything. And I think, uh, oh, the headrest, dude, those are nasty. That is a hard spot to find. Hopefully we just got the extra Forty dollars out of that. Give me the full two hundred. I don't want the one sixty. I want the two hundred. Come on. Yes, let's go. We almost missed it. All right, there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed. So we are in chapter seven. It's um, I think this is the final chapter of the game. I think we're getting towards the end. The chapters are fairly long, so we probably have another episode or two. But um, man. This game is, is heating up. Day 24 is done. We've almost put our first month of work in. <sighs> Things are going well. We, we do have a, a big contraband and prisoner pickup coming soon. So we're going to be able to get a bunch of money out of that. Maybe upgrade some more of our guys. Buy some items. But it's another beautiful day and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.